What's up YouTube, how you doing? This is Mr. Tybox123 and in this video I'm going to be bringing you my full review of this, the BlackBerry Bold 9790. Now first of all, I'll just let you know the price point of the 9790. You can actually pick this up for about 280 to 300 pounds if you look around from somewhere like eBay or Amazon, or obviously you can get it completely free of charge on a contract. Now the BlackBerry Bold 9790 really is the kind of little sister or the little brother to the flagship model, which is the BlackBerry Bold 9900. And in terms of the differences between the two, they're fairly similar, but the BlackBerry Bold 9900 definitely has a superior build quality and is also slightly larger as well, giving it a much easier to use keyboard and also a much nicer, slightly larger screen. Now in terms of the hardware and the specifications on the Bold 9790, it's actually got a one gigahertz processor. It's got 768 megabytes of RAM and also comes with eight gigabytes of onboard storage that is upgradable via an SD card and you can add an additional 32 gigabytes of storage onto the existing eight. It's also got a 2.45 inch screen with a resolution of 360 by 480 pixels, but BlackBerry have built something in which enables you to actually replay 720p videos, which is definitely a nice touch from BlackBerry. Now in terms of the design of the phone itself, it's a very nice looking phone. It's nice and slim, very, very small and really isn't that noticeable when you put it in your pocket. It's got a nice streamlined design to it and also BlackBerry said it was actually designed around some kind of aerodynamics and it really does quite actually look like that. I really like the chrome bezel that runs all the way around the device and also the glossy finish as well on the front and the kind of nice sort of matted down silvery finish that we've got on the back of the phone and generally overall gives a nice build quality and a nice feel in the hand. Now a little tour around the hardware itself. On the back of the phone, we've got a 5 megapixel camera capable of recording up to 720p, also with an LED flash. We've also got on the left hand side a 3.5mm headphone jack, so you can listen to all of your audio or obviously use the phone with a headset. On the bottom of the phone, we've got the micro USB port. Now having the micro USB port on the bottom does give you the ability to potentially use some kind of dock, but when you've got it lying on your desk, it does make it a bit annoying having the cable run round to the bottom of the phone rather than it being on the side, but twos and fro's for each different option. On the other side of the phone, they've put some really nice streamlined buttons on that side of the phone. We've got the quick shortcut button to the camera and pressing that brings the camera up very, very quickly indeed. And then we've also got the volume up down buttons as well as the play pause button in the middle. And like I say, they're very, very nice buttons and they give a nice positive feedback. On the top of the phone built into the casing itself, we've also got the lock button and that actually just locks the phone and also unlocks it when you want to get access back into the device itself. Now in terms of the operating system, it runs BlackBerry OS version 7. BlackBerry have recently brought out version 7.1, but unfortunately that's not actually available on the Bold 9790 yet, but I'm pretty sure that will be coming fairly shortly, and that includes some nice upgrades, things like personal hotspot that we've been looking for for quite a while in the BlackBerry operating system. Now in terms of the operating system, it's really a kind of love it or hate it operating system. I absolutely love the Blackberries in general and for specific purposes, especially things like business or business where you're actually running your business via social media, I really don't think there's many better operating systems or phones on the market for that particular usage. It's got fantastic notifications and it's also got a great application for social feeds which bring all of your social feeds into one place. Things like messaging, BBM which is BlackBerry's proprietary messaging system and is definitely the best messaging system that's out there at the moment. Also things like Facebook and Twitter and Google Talk and things like Live Messenger all in one place and that really does make it a joy to use especially when you're running a business like I say or heavily utilizing things like social media within your business. It also comes with a whole bunch more applications that are quite usable especially things like documents to go which enable you to use and edit various different documents that you might want to take around with you or send via email. 
setting up email on BlackBerry OS 7 is a very, very simple thing to do, and they really have made that extremely nice and streamlined to be able to set up your email accounts very, very quickly. Now, in terms of the battery, it's got the same battery as the BlackBerry Bold 9900, but because we've got that slightly smaller screen and also the slightly slower processor, it gives a better battery life than the Bold 9900, and you can easily use this very heavily and have it last a complete day. Now overall, my thoughts on the 9790, I think it's a very, very good phone. If you're a BlackBerry lover and you've got a curve at the moment, the touch screen and the better build quality of the bold 9790 would definitely be a worthwhile upgrade. Or if you're looking at a phone to use specifically for social media or for a business use, then the, the bold 9790 is definitely gonna be a great phone for you as well. And it's also a good price point around that kind of 280 pounds mark. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that review. Thank you very much for watching. Please do hit that like button and I will see you all in the next video. See ya.